All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as How to Deal with Anxiety. All right. And, um, you know, like again, before I start, you know, reading scriptures, you know, I just want to do a quick little testimony. And, you know, if you are Jake, that's experiencing um, anxieties, you know, like I said, you know, the Lord knows where to try each and every one of us individually, all right, so it's not even just on a physical tip, it's on a spiritual one, and mentally, mentally, physical, physically, and spiritually, all right, so you're going to be tried in different, you know, uh, scenarios, different situations, all right, and, you know, pretty much, you know, um, I've had, you know, I remember I said in the lessons in the past that, you know, um, you know, brothers out there that's going through anxieties, panic attacks, depression, you know, feeling low, whatever it is mentally, because each and every one of us mentally, you know, have something that we deal with, you know, and, you know, one thing for me and I'll put myself out there. I'm one of those individuals. I deal with anxieties. All right. And, you know, I haven't had an anxiety uh, panic attack or anxiety in a long time. It's been a long time, all right? And it came up on me this morning. So, you know, that's already letting me know what I need to do, you know? And, um, you know, I was feeling, you know, this 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 anxiety, this panic attack hit me so hard that it um, everything around me started getting, like, black a little bit. You know, and when I, would, I couldn't move, I could move, but I was having chills, you know, hands were shaking, you know, heart rate was increasing and I couldn't, you know, I could, but, you know, mentally in that state, it was like I couldn't control it. So, you know, I had to pray to the Lord, you how about you, my shy, and take in deep breaths, man, take in deep breaths and take in deep breaths, you know, breathe out, make sure you count your breaths, breathe in, breathe out, you know, slowly, breathe in, breathe out, drink some water, you know, so once I was able, you know, to get calmed down, you know, I had to, um, you know, Drink some water, light some sage, and pray, cause there is a there's a spiritual attack out, man, and you know, the anxiety is a demon. So, low one is that's edifying, you know. This is for, you know, not you know, for myself, and also to, you know, brothers out there that that have these issues. So, low one is that's edifying. This is Second Timothy one and seven. It says, "For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, right? The Lord have not given us the spirit of fear, all right." The Lord doesn't give us the spirit of fear. It says, but of power and of love and a sound mind. The Lord give us a sound mind. All right, anxiety, depression, you know, whatever it is out there that you brothers are dealing with mentally, you know, those are, those are spirits, man. That's a, anxiety is a demon, man. And it basically just attacks your mind. You know, it's the year of turn up, you know. And the Lord allows Satan to do it. So, you know, whatever it is that we're going through in these mortal bodies, the Lord is pushing us through to try us, man, to try us individually. All right. And, you know, it just it just shows you then and there. If you're a brother that's going through these things of anxiety, you know, you got to start fasting, man. Fast more and uh, pray more if you've been fasting. If you haven't been fasting, you need to start fasting. All right. And start praying more, man. And literally, you know. Whatever it is, because, you know, I'm, I deal with a lot, you know, brothers know my situation is what I'm dealing with, you know, and then plus I'm dealing with things at work. So it's just a lot of things overwhelming. So all that, all of this, you know, overwhelming situations, you know, it's just mentally just staying embedded in your mind. That's why the scriptures say Second uh, Edris 14, 14, right? It says um, put off mortal thoughts, right? Because, you know, mortal thoughts, that word mortal means death, man. You know, you don't want to have, you know, your mind, you know, because our mind goes through all these different thoughts, man. You know, you trying to, you want to avoid that, you know. 
put off from the mortal thoughts, you know. Let's read this again, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for you, how about Shemashai have not given us the spirit of fear? See, the Lord, he doesn't give us the spirit of fear, all right? It says, but of but of power and of love and of a sound mind, right? The Lord, how about Shemashai, gives us a sound mind, man, right? So we got to continually pray to the Lord, you know, because we're going to be attacked, you know, you're going to be attacked, you know. It don't have to be with money. It don't have to be, you know, your car, having a car, or having bills behind bills, or you know, um, you know, you gotta get into an argument if you have a woman. You know, it could be mentally with yourself or whatever you're going through. All right, and that 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 anxiety demon is no joke. You know, having anxiety that is no joke. You know, because the only person that can deliver you out of that situation is the Lord. All right, that's mental torment. That's mental torment, man. You know, depression, anxiety. You know, panic attacks, that's, that's, that's mental torment, you know? This is 1 John 4 and 18. It says, there is no fear in love, see? But perfect love casteth out fear, right? It says, because fear hath torment, right? And if you a person that's dealing with anxieties or panic attacks, you know what I mean? That's torment. If you're dealing with depression, you know, you know, because you got brothers in the truth that's probably dealing with depression, you know? That's mental torment. That's torment of the mind, man. You know, it says fear have torment because it does. You know, it says he that feareth is not made perfect in love. Right. So, you know, at the end of the day, we know we have your how about she not shy. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. So, you know, the only person that's going to allow you to die or allow you to, you know, be put to death, you know, is your how about she not shy. But, you know, when when you have anxieties, you feel like you're going to die, man. I feel like. You know, you can't get no air. You know, your hands start getting numb. Everything around you just start going black. I don't know. Certain people have anxieties differently. But, you know, these these are the experiences that I experience when I deal with these attacks. You know, and it's, 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 a, it's a spiritual attack. It's something mentally that you're dealing with. All right? It's a spirit. And you got to go on a fast. Isaiah 26 and 3, it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Right? Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee, right? So we got to trust in your home about Shai. He's going to keep our mind at peace, all right? But we're going to go through temptation. And what I went through was temptation, all right? It doesn't have to be just on a, on a carnal tip with bills, a woman, and, you know, on a carnal tip. It could be mentally, too, because the Lord knows where to try each and every one of us. And he will allow Satan to mess with you, all right? This is 2 Corinthians 10 to 13. It says, there have no temptation taking you, but... Such is common to man. It says, But Yahweh Bashimashai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right. So the Lord, you know, he didn't put too much on me, but he put just enough on me to try me this morning. You know, to try me on my faith. Right. To try me, to build me up. Because we got to go through things here, man. That's why I always say, you know, if you a Jake that's not going through nothing, you don't have nothing mentally that you're dealing with. You ain't got nothing you're dealing with physically. You ain't got nothing. Nothing is going wrong with you. Everything is just perfectly fine. Then clearly the Lord ain't dealing with you because you should be going through something. It don't have to be money. It could be mentally. It could be whatever it is. All right? Because that's how we know the Lord is dealing with us. But we're going through these things, man. Because we it's a year of turn up. You know, it says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. Right. That ye may be able to bear. Right. So the Lord is never going to give us too much that we can't handle, but he's going to give us just enough to try us, man. And that's how the Lord works, man. He's building us up, you know, because in these carnal bodies and these mortal flesh, man, we go through a lot. We're dealing with a lot. We're dealing with shit at work. We're dealing with all this other shit, still teaching, still doing lessons to the best of our ability. But we're dealing with everything. Brothers getting divorces. Brothers is. You know, brothers is dealing with the, you know, being together, you know, separation with the child, dealing with things at work. You know, that's a lot, you know, and it just builds up. That's why we got to stay prayed up, man. We got to, we got to stay, stay praying, man. This is Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you. It says, and ye shall hold your peace. So the Lord will fight for us, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai, he is our help. He is our buckler, man. He's our protection, man. He's going to, he's going to make way for us, you know. And, uh, you know, make things, you know, go our way. He's going to be there for us. You know, the Lord's just trying us on our um, 
you know, on our faith. And, you know, this is a definition for anxiety. And I should have got this before I read scriptures. But it says an anxiety attack usually involves a fear of some specific occurrence or problem that could happen. It says symptoms that include worry, restlessness, and possibility of physical systems such as changing in the heart rate. Right. It says anxiety is different from a panic attack, but it can occur as part of an anxiety or panic disorder. Right. And, you know, when you're dealing with these anxieties, you know, it feels like, you know, like you're going to probably pass out or die or whatever it is. Everything just starts increasing your blood flow, your heart, your mind is just freaking out. So it's trying to, you know, you're, you start hyperventilating. You can't breathe. Right. You know, so when you're dealing with those things, man. You want to pray to Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai, all right, and cry out to the Lord, you know. Nathan Lab Lab Yashalawam, give peace to my mind. Give peace to my mind, you know, constantly pray, you know. These are the things I had to do this morning. Isaiah 41 and 10, it says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. See, fear thou not. So when you're going through anxieties, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of challenging because you're in the moment of fear. You know, you can't you can't really think as much as you you would normally be able to, you know, but always remember this is uh, Isaiah 41 and 14. It says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. See, the Lord is with you. It says, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So the Lord is going to be there with you, whatever it is that you're dealing with mentally, spiritually and physically. But the Lord is trying you. In your faith, he's trying you to see if you're gonna cry out to him, man. You know, that's how the that's how the Lord works. So wait, man. You know, Lord willing, this lesson's edifying. I just wanted to do a quick hitter on that. When you're dealing with these anxieties, brothers, just pray to the Lord first and foremost. Get you some water. Pray to the Lord. You know, and when you pray, just pray. Take your time. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Read some scriptures. Light some sage. Rebuke these spirits because, you know, these wicked spirits, you know, they're like Elder Apostle Tahar said, you got to we got to fight against these spirits, man, because they're uh, they're attacking, you know, they're attacking. Um, they're attacking, you know, and you want to be able to defend yourself against these situations, you know, spiritually. This is second address 15, I mean, 14 and 14. I'm going to read this real quick. Second Edges 14, 14, let go from the mortal thoughts, right? And that word mortal means death. So you want to have thoughts that, you know, you want to have thoughts. You want to have thoughts that, you know, it's like on that. Second Edges 14, 14, let go from the mortal thoughts. It says, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature, right? And when you have mortal thoughts, anxieties, depression, you feeling low, you know, whatever type of torment you're dealing with, you know, some brothers, you know, that I that I know, you know, well, this is my biological brother, but you know, he has a he has he has fear of certain things too, you know, he has a fear of um, going outside, you know, people looking at him, things like that. But then like I told him these are spirits, man, and you have to fast to to get rid of what you're dealing with. These are spirits. You know, and we got to we got to be strong. We got to fast more. We got to, you know, also switch up your diet. You're like me. I've been eating healthy. I haven't really been eating no fast food or nothing like that. But, you know, it don't work like that. Whatever it goes, you know, the Lord, if he's going to try you, he's going to try you. But you got to continually push through it, push through it. That's why the scriptures say, 2nd Andrews 14, 14, let go from the mortal thoughts. So don't let these anxieties, these, these depressions, you know, these things get the best of you, you know. Cast them off, because that word mortal means death. It says, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature, right? That's the weak nature, these mortal thoughts. Because our mind goes through all these different thoughts, man. But Yahweh Bashimashai, he said he will guide us, he will protect us, man. So yeah, man, anxiety, you know, it, 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 it can't get you if you allow it to. But if you fight against it and, and pray and, and really take your time out to breathe and, you know, relax your mind, you know. And just pray and just pray and take your time breathing. You'll, you'll be fine, you know. But uh, I just wanted to do a lesson on that. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations, so full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad. Push forth this word of truth, sincerity. 
I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, yeah, brothers, uh, I'm going to continually pray for brothers out there. Also, pray for me, Baba Kasha. Um, you know, for those of you out there that's dealing with this situation that I've, that I've been dealing with. But, you know, I just thank you, how about you, Mashai, for, you know, keeping me in this thing and keep me diligent and keep me humble and just continually keep me pushing. And I pray for you brothers out there, too, man. Whatever it is that you're dealing with mentally, you're not alone. You know, Yahweh Bashima Shai is here and also we're here. So, Lord willing, that's what's edifying. Until next time we say, Shalom.